Oh, I didn't even see you guys there. So let's get right into this. Hmm, let's see. We have an Avengers poster with Iron Man right in front. Hmm, I wonder what the film is going to be. Oh, yeah, that's right. But you, Iron Man 3. That is what is happening today because we are going over Iron Man 3, the third installment of the Iron Man franchise. And I cannot wait to tell you how, how it went down. So let's get into it right away. Yes, it is. We got the third installment of the Iron Man franchise and the start of Phase 2 of the Avengers Initiative. Yes, if you don't know, uh, there are, I believe there are four phases that they're working on, or maybe three. Um, the Avengers 1 started, uh, ended Phase 1, and now Iron Man 3 is going to start Phase 2. After this, we'll get uh, Thor, and then we're going to get Captain America 2. And then uh, Avengers is probably going to come after that because we're also getting a treat. Uh, we're getting Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a really great comic. If you have the chance, you must check this out. It is really fun, and you'll probably enjoy it. If you if you love the Avengers, you'll definitely love this. Even if you love the Avengers, you should have known the Guardians of the Galaxy already. Uh, but you should definitely check this out. Uh, but we have been waiting for this all year, and it has finally arrived. And the birth is drum roll, my minions. Man, you guys suck. Okay, obviously, I love the storyline, and thank God, right? Iron Man 2 was such a disaster. The story goes, obviously, it comes at, it goes, it comes after the New York uh, disaster. You know, when the Avengers just destroyed the city by killing massive amounts of aliens, and they probably had a, you know had a court date to settle the millions and millions of dollars that they destroyed the city. But it shows how Stark is coping with the aftermath of, of, of it, and then the Mandarin steps in out of nowhere and then becomes a worthy adversary and goes, and goes after him after he pretty much calls him out on national television, which I love the storyline. It actually works, but there was a problem with it. Now, but the thing is, this is which is why I love this film so much. Now, granted, it's not just because of that. I did love most as most a of the aspects of this film. One of my favorites was that uh, it was told from Stark's point of view. It was in, it was in his own voice, literally and figuratively. It start it starts off basically with a uh, with a I guess within the middle of the film, and then basically. It flashes back to the beginning. It's like he's telling somebody a, the, the story of what happened with the with the Mandarin, the whole Mandarin story, which is what I liked. But the thing is, I didn't realize that until I saw it the second time. Him talking to somebody actually makes sense for the end credit because he it shows him talking to his therapist or his you know one of his friends. It it actually makes sense, and uh, I didn't even see that until now. Which is what I loved about it. Now, unfortunately, the end, like I like I said before, it's it's basically the continuation of the film, the end credit scene. It's not unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it does not link to anything with the Avengers sequel or anything else. It's just it's just the continuation. It's just for continuity. So it works just for a, a one continuous film, which is which was weird. Uh, I have to say it was kind of stupid that they didn't just you know sort of put that in within the middle of the credits instead of wait, making everybody wait five fucking minutes for everybody to show, you know, it, it was really stupid that where they put it. But it was completely action-packed, and, was, and it wasn't overkill. The action scenes were sporadic enough for me to actually be okay for, for an Iron Man film and just to be okay in general. You know, it would be info, 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 oh, that's important, important, important. And then action scene, action scene, blah, blow up, blow up, explosion, explosion. Ah, oh, you killed my father, blah, blah, blah. It, and then it goes right back to the info, and then it just, it was very sporadic enough for actually for me to care and actually not get confused. And it, it worked well for me and not to be bored out of my skull. But then again, it's, it's Iron Man, and, number, and the second sequel was, well, a number two. Let's, let's not joke about this. It was, it was... It was, it was the shit stain on, on the Iron Man franchise, and it was a joke. But I digress. This third installment blows it out of the water and somewhat revives the franchise. These action scenes were great and in almost every aspect. The CGI 
w was on its mark. I mean, as usual with the Iron Man suits, it was very clear, very you know, very vibrant. It, the the amount of color that they used uh, with all the because not all the Iron Man suits were different. Well, I mean, uh, were the same. They were all different, like little snowflakes. Each each suit had its own had its own body, had its own uh, had its own mind, had its own you know, it was its own person or its own its own suit. I would say, it had its own design. It was it was special. It, each of them was special in its own way. You know, every time I saw a new one, I was like, I want that. I want that. You know, can I have that? You know, the the suits. They did a lot of, um, it was very weird the way they do the suits, but it was a matter of time because I was waiting for him to just, like, be able to call it or, you know, do something that would attract the suit and then it would, you know, go around him, which is what had this happens. He basically just, like, he does this, like, karate move, and then the the suit just attaches to him, uh, you know, it'll, the hands and then the, 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 the armor will just go all around him, the chest plate and the, you know, the... And then the face mask, it was, it was just really fun to watch that. You know, but he would just do that, like, all the time. He was just like, Whoa! It was like he was doing some karate move, like, every ten minutes. It was kind of annoying after a while, but it was pretty <laughs> pretty weird and pretty cool to watch him do that. Um, but, yeah, they kept, they kept uh, repeating that because they wanted to give you the aspect of he can call it at any time, as long as it was, like, charged from what I gather for the film. Um... It was fun to watch, and I, I loved it. The thing is, he makes a lot of sweet suits, and you want every single one of them. And it's basically, he's made it, it's basically his hobby is what he says. Uh, he says it a couple times, you know, after his tenure after New York, you know, over his tenure in New York, after, the, after the New York fiasco. Uh, even the uh, the extremist, don't worry about it, if you don't know what that is, uh, just when you watch it, you'll, you'll get what it means. Um... Your body lights up with fire, and the CGI on it was just completely fantastic because it it didn't it didn't look fake. It wasn't it wasn't pixelated or anything. It was just fantastic to watch. You know, visually it was a great film, and uh, and written it was written it was written to an extent where I didn't care how you know how number two was written. Three was written to an extent where I loved it. Every not every single word I would say, but you know. I liked it. You know, it was written well. Now, there are some things I didn't like about this film, but keep in mind, this is only me and my opinion only. It did piss me off that the Mandarin isn't really the Mandarin in this film. Hypo now, really, hypothetically, he was supposed to be the big villain in this film, but he's not. Sort of. Like, I, I really can't say much, otherwise I'd be giving away the main point of the film. But it pissed me off, and they completely turned around on the comic, uh, from the comic, especially with the Mandarin. My guess is that they did this way only because to to only continue the Avengers Initiative storyline, and it probably just felt right and fit right that the Mandarin is, is you know who he is in this film. But he he in the comic he's they completely take it away on who he actually is because the Mandarin is, is his own character. There's no, I really can't say anything, but. You'll get what I'm trying to get at when you watch this film. Uh, by the way, oh, and by the way, I really hope uh, that they bring in Spider-Man in, in this soon. Because with the Iron Patriot storyline from this film, it doesn't connect. It doesn't really connect. And I was hoping they would do that with the end credit scene. They didn't connect anything with the Iron Patriot to Norman Osborn, which is what, he, which is what it actually is. Um, so I have no idea where they're going with this. But, nonetheless... If you're a fan of the Avenger Initiative films and the comics, like me, I highly recommend this film to the to its full extent. Check it out. I guarantee you will not be sorry. It's worth every penny and nickel that you've saved. You've saved up. Uh, even the story, even with the storyline comic flaw, like I've like I pointed out before. But like like Tony Stark, just just go see it. I guarantee it'll be awesome. Now, like Tony Stark. He is awesome, so you can be too. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right here, do, 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 do. right there. And also, if you like my videos and reviews, make sure you give it a thumbs up right here, somewhere. I can't really find out. Someone's gotta tell me that sometime. I mean, come on, guys. You know, we work, we produce this together. Come on, help me out. Help a brother out. 
Uh, make sure you also uh, share them on Facebook and on Twitter. Whatever, just make sure you use uh, the hashtag, the Gary Bear Review. And because I'm in a bind and my schedule is really weird, uh, I don't know what the next film uh, next film is that's going to be Gare Bear on the show. So that just makes you guys got to stay tuned.